Yo, what's good guys, Medical Gamer over here bringing you a Pokemon Sun and Moon video, this time about my top 10 shinies, and these are all going to be Pokemon that have been released, um, not in the data mine leaks, just released by Game Freak, Pokemon Company, all that good stuff. So without further ado, let's get to it. So the first one that I'm going to go with is Zygarde 100% form. Now the reason I think it's so cool is because it goes from black to white, and it looks really cool, the contrasting colors based on its original sprite and then its new sprite. I think it's really cool because the white really brings out all of the other colors and the lighter green that's like on Zygarde's like, I don't know, with like a chest or whatever that is and then his wings and arms and all that stuff. It looks pretty cool. I like that and I like the brighter colors of the shiny Zygarde. 100% form, by the way. So anyways, the next Pokemon. Where is the next Pokemon? The next Pokemon is going to be Vikavolt. Now Vikavolt's regular sprite and shiny sprite both look insane in the membrane because the shiny sprite is silver with light green and it has like the orange visor that to me is really cool the the color scheme that it is and also just from the normal sprite the little electrical things that 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 are at its side i think that that's really cool and the shininess the light green on those electric things just makes it look even cooler than it already is so next up we have Lion Rock Midnight form. Now, I don't know why. Like, uh, I'm gonna go with Sun, even though I like I like Lion Rock Midnight form a lot, only because of the eyes. The eyes literally make it look insane. It literally looks crazy, and that it belongs in a mental asylum. I know I said that in the first video too, but I have to say it again in this one. If you just look at the shiny sprite, it is now dark blue, so it actually looks a lot more like a werewolf than the red one, and it still looks crazy with those crazy red eyes and those big, big hands, claws, whatever you want to call them. So I think that that's still pretty, pretty cool. And what is my next one? My next one is going to be Lurantis. Now, I don't think Lurantis's regular sprite is all that great. It's just pink, very basic, but the shiny sprite looks really cool with the light green eyes, just the whole light green slash yellow slash golden color scheme. I think it all really blends together. It really looks soothing and it looks like a nice praying mantis. So I'm going to go with that as another one of my top 10 favorite shinies. By the way, as I didn't mention in the beginning of the video, this is going to be in no particular order. So my next up Pokemon is going to be Pissimian. So I like Pissimian's normal sprite just because I thought it was really cool how it has the coconut or yeah, the coconut and it's almost like a football or a rugby ball. I don't know what the ball is called in rugby. I don't know if it's called a rugby ball. I'm not sure, but if you're going with American football, not soccer, American football, it's called a football. So I think it's really cool and you know, they say hike and they pass it off to the quarterback, all that good stuff. But the shiny sprite looks really cool because it now has that orange and blue color scheme going on. Blue is actually my favorite color. So that's one of the main reasons that I'm inclined to say that this is one of my favorite shinies. And I think that the, the color difference just makes it look more appealing to me. If you're, you're gonna notice that a lot of the shinies that I like I just mainly like because of the contrasting colors from the original sprite because it really enhances certain colors that they don't have in the original sprite and I think that's really unique and it makes it look really really cool. So next up I believe on my list, let me just cross reference, that's right I have that second monitor over there so I can see. So my next one is Br Bruckish or Bruckshit, I, I think it's just Bruckish, I, I'm pretty sure that its name is Bruckish but that fish. That colorful fish. Now the regular spray, I didn't like that much because it looks very dull and too too many things going on. But the shiny sprite, it, it does have a lot of things going on too. But I think that the red, the the bright red and the bright green really enhance a lot of its colors and it makes it look really, really standout-ish. So that's really, really cool how it stands out. And it's just it just seems like a normal fish Pokemon in the regular sprite, but when you make it shiny, it just looks really really unique and next up we have Kamo'o now I always thought like I mentioned in my other video that Kamo'o in general is really cool the whole concept and when I first saw Jangmo'o I thought it was going to be a dinosaur Pokemon now it's kind of a dinosaur kind of a lizard hybrid I I'm not entirely sure what you would call it but I still think that its sprite in general looks really cool and now with the shininess it makes it golden which is really cool so it's almost like a prehistoric slash well I, I, I don't know if it's based off a modern lizard or a prehistoric dinosaur or a prehistoric lizard but 
Anyways, nonetheless, the goldenness makes it look like a shiny monster. That's that's what I'm gonna say. It's kind of like Godzilla. If Godzilla was painted gold, like you just took a spray can and you just sprayed all over it, that's how Kamoa would look. So there you go. That's that. And next up is kind of just all the tapus in general. They're shiny sprites because I like how they're shiny sprites just make them into black like it literally just becomes black and then they have their original colors like the original orange the original yellow pink they preserve those colors but they make the rest of the sprite black and that kind of just enhances once again like i said before it really brings out the other colors in their sprites and final two pokemon by the way i'm not going with the ultra beast i'm not really considering them pokemon so their their chinese are not I'm not going to include them in this video, but I'm going to go with Solgaleo, of course, because it goes from a metal lion, like a silver, white metal lion, to a red lion. Now, that's really cool. The red, it doesn't really bring out any colors, but I think that the red just makes it look cooler. And, you know, it's called Pokemon Sun. The sun is... I, I'm like slapping my hand a lot. I've noticed that. I'm sorry. I don't know if the mic's picking it up. It probably is, so I'm going to stop that. But anyways, if you think about the sun, the sun is red, the sun is orange, the sun is yellow, and Solgaleo being red really fits the description, you know? It really fits the bill a lot more than it being white, and so I think that that's pretty cool. And it also looks like it has rage built up. It's really mad, and it's going to come attack you, and... You know, that's, that's a fun time. So last up, we have Lunala. And once again, just like Solgaleo, I think it's really cool how they made Lunala more of a reddish. And they, they still have the purple color scheme in there. So the purple is there to represent the moon, but it also has that red aspect, which is cool. Once again, like I think like rage. And also Lunala kind of looks like a vampire. So the fact that it has the red makes it even more like a vampire because you know vampires want to suck your blood, all that good stuff, Count Dracula. So the redness really makes it really, really cool and enhances a lot of its characteristics, if I were, for lack of a better word. And I know I have very, very poor adjective skills, poor adjective choices, but I'm trying to work on that. So instead of trying to say insane for everything or cool for everything or awesome for everything, I'm going to try to expand my, my lexicon. So that will be for future videos though, because of course right now I'm still sticking to the regular bland words but i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please hit that thumbs up down below subscribe follow me on twitter at medical gamer i'm pretty sure that it's just medical gamer nothing else no numbers no nothing anything like that so just search medical gamer on twitter and you'll find me and also leave a comment about what you guys think about this and your top 10 shinies from this game i'm gonna get out of here peace